Hello and welcome back to your channel. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a eggplant pickle in Italian style. Um, uh, I learned this uh, way of making pickle uh, from some of the, my Italian friends. It's very simple uh, and but still very tasty and you can prepare it in less than a day which is you know fantastic uh, and you can use that pickle with the bread as a light uh, entree or you know light food or you can add it to your sandwich or you can add it to your uh, salad as a dressing for this you can use it in many way then uh, usually end of the summer beginning of the autumn you can buy eggplant relatively in the good price and that's a good time you can uh, make that kind of pickle therefore if you are interested to make your own eggplant pickle in Italian style. Uh, let's get into the kitchen and get I'm started. I'm going to teach you how I um, prepare my eggplant pickle, uh, which is mostly Italian they make in this way. Uh, ingredient which you need, of course, is eggplant, garlic, uh, salt. Uh, we're going to use today um, uh, salt flake. Uh, we have white vinegar, uh, olive oil, I use extra virgin, you can use normal olive oil as well. Uh, I picked some fresh oregano, if you don't have fresh oregano, just you can use dry one. Uh, chili flake, if you have fresh chili, you can use um, fresh chili. I prepare flake because it's a spread all over one. And then some thyme fresh thyme as well from the garden uh, and that's all the ingredient you need and let's get this started by peeling our or washed our eggplant and I'm gonna start to peeling them off first right then with the knife I'm gonna chop the head of the eggplant off and then using one of the peeler start to peel them off This is easier to peel. Basically, we peel all of the eggplant like, like this, and then I'm going to slice the eggplant longitudinal around thickness around one centimeter. I'm gonna ask my wife, she loves to cut diced and things in a precise manner, a bit rough with the cutting. Therefore you cut them like this, thin just like this. Slice them again one centimeter before it just becomes a little strap. Just put a couple of them together. If the eggplant is very long, maybe you cut them to short you know it's divided by three no no specific rule but just uh, it's gonna be shrink when you get the water out Eggplant is 
strips like this, like French fry. All right. All right, as you can see, all of those eggplant is cut to little French fry, the strips, and we put them in the calendar, and then I add generous amount of the rock salt. All over it. And just mix them up a bit. And the salt helps to water of the eggplant and that bitterness just come out. And uh, since the eggplants are going to have less water, uh, they're going to be preserved much nicer. Add a bit of more salt. The volume of this become halved when they're losing the water. All right. Then I put a plate in top of this, like this, and I put a bit of weight apart with the water. Over it, that presses a plant, and so the water gonna go out, and that's it. All right, the eggplant with salt is sitting in the colander for a couple of hours. The, um, some juice is coming out, but uh, we're gonna squeeze the remaining juice by using gloves and pressing by our hand. But at the same time, I'm gonna warm. 50-50 of the white vinegar and water in the pot, bring it to the board. When it's board, just switch it off. And then when we squeeze our eggplant, we put it in here, sit for 10-15 minutes. Then we drain the excess vinegar and water, and you're gonna see the excess step later. But for this is one liter of the vinegar. I add the same one liter of water. All right, this is eggplant with the salt it's sitting in the calendar with this, um, for a couple of hours, and we put some weight. Now we're going to remove it. Have a look how much uh, juice come out, a fair bit. But we're going to take even next next level by grabbing a bunch and squeeze them like this. And then we put that in the plate and we keep going like that. Get excess salt and juice of the eggplant out. Uh, eggplant a bit like a sponge when you get rid of that excess water then absorb the vinegar and oil and all of the spices to itself and that's the reason it tastes good yeah. try to get the juice as much as you can a small just like handful Now we squeeze the eggplant, take the salty and juice out and our 50% vinegar and water is boiled. I turn it off and now I'm going to add the eggplant into it and let it sit for 10 minutes and then take them out and put it in uh, again colander. We don't want to overcook, but we want to accelerate the process of the pickling the eggplant. Make sure it's covered. And 
basically wait for 10 minutes. As our eggplant just uh, sitting in the hot vinegar and water to be infused with the vinegar, at the same time we're going to just start to peel some garlic. I had learned a bit of trick to peel the garlic. I add some boiled water, it's so easy to just skin them off. The and uh, like that. If we just cut the end bit, the rest has just come out much easier. Therefore, we want to accelerate as much as we can because we're all busy with many things to do. But that's the good things about this one you make it once and you're going to have enough for the rest of the year. You see, much easier to do that. Just cut the end bit. Just add some boiled water. Sit it for five minutes. Then water gets a bit cool. Ready to pull out. We keep doing this. And then I'll cut them to just thin slices like this. Then we add it to the next step, which you see. So, guys, I lost the sound here, but uh, basically, eggplant was sitting for 10 minutes in vinegar and water 50 50. And now I uh, take the spoon, I try to take the eggplant, squeeze the excess vinegar, and take them out and put them in a colander. At the same time, we sterilize the jars in the oven around 180 and put the lid in the water as you can see in the pot just boiling to be sterilized for a jarring of uh, eggplant pickle then when we take all of the eggplant out we will put the gloves because they have acidic and uh, salt which is can irritate your skin and similar to what we done with the salt water we uh, squeeze excess vinegar out uh, i don't squeeze them as much as i did squeeze for um, salt water because i want to have a bit of uh, a vinegar taste in eggplant still exists which they mix with other spice and olive oil and make it you know beautiful now i'm gonna slice the garlic Eggplant already squeezed, uh, we get rid of excess vinegar. If I'm gonna cut them to just thin, not too thin, just you know, to cut them to a couple of you know, mil and just mix it with the eggplant. That gave extra taste and the eggplant is still warm from sitting in the warm vinegar but just I add those one two as a cut and just mix them a bit and keep going of all of them we mix them up and I have a terracotta bowl I transfer all of them there to mix them better A lot of eggplant and um, as jars are already sterilized and we let them outside to be cooled down All right, done. in this stage I have some nice uh, white wine vinegar I just add a bit in over it All right. 
then we have some chili flake and some of the thyme and uh, as uh, oregano, thyme and oregano which we washed they are fresh if you don't have um, fresh one you can use the dry one I add some and a bit of chili flake if you like it a bit more chili add more if you like less less chili you can add less then mix it and repeat the process a bit of that with a chili flake and try to bring the other parts mix it as you go and with the oregano with the chili flake I think maybe we have lunch Right, I think it's done. Last thing, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Generous amount. Again, you mix it. Right, just add a bit of olive oil. More chili. Look at the color. It's beautiful. Alright, we almost done. Look oh, gorgeous. Alright, now we're gonna start putting the jar. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna jar those uh, eggplant pickle. I add a bit of olive oil in the bottom. I use a lot of olive oil in this one because it's make it preserve better. Also, when it's finished, still I can use that oil for dressing of the salad and stuff, therefore not wasted. Therefore, I have a bit of olive oil in the bottom and I start to filling the eggplant in. Those in eggplant, you don't need to put any fridge because everything was sterilized and then I fill it with the olive oil. Therefore, water does not get into it. You see, as I add um, oil in the bottom, actually, it's a good trick to avoid uh, a lot of air bubble. All right, that's done. Sorry, there's one. I'm just going to put it here. Just press it a bit. Make sure this packed nicely. And then top it with oil. If you get a kind of knife, try to get rid of the a bit of any air bubble. Okay, this is the final product. We're gonna have quite a few, I think about 10 of them to just in the jars. Therefore, this is about one week time is ready to go. All of those spices and uh, herbs, they give the eggplant, you know, extra taste. Um, and uh, I hope you try this one and enjoy it with you and with your family as well. Uh, or just uh, one way to eat, you know, get nice crusty bread 
this is the stuff I made you know last year um, you know that's you can have it as a lunch just add a bit of that one to your bread very healthy a snack or even light lunch just have it beautiful see you guys in next video bye for now